Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to do this tutorial on Final Cut Pro X. Uh, I'm trying to um, overcome this uh, serious bug that's in Final Cut, uh, which has cost me no end of trouble. And from what I've seen in the forums, it's costing the um, the rest of the uh, editing community no end of trouble as well. So as you can see here, when we go in through, uh, we have this little animation here of how a Venn diagram works. We have different graphical elements. I'm just kind of scrubbing through here. So I have these... Um, these kind of circles with a, like a break in the middle that uh, I've transformed. It's just a simple PNG file. And uh, uh, I've gone ahead and let's go ahead and kind of try to recreate this, having the circle, just the one circle on the screen and have it fade in and fade out. So I've gone ahead and I've, I've, uh, I've stretched out the timeline past where we need just for the purpose of this tutorial. And I've gone ahead and I've copied and pasted one of the clips which has been giving me trouble with this this uh, circle broken clip. So let's zoom in a little bit. Command plus on the keyboard. Okay, so as we you may know, the uh, to add an automatic transition to a clip in Final Cut, just select the clip and hit Command T. So let's do that, and then you get this this heinous error message, which is the bane of everybody's existence. Okay, after looking on the forums, uh, I believe that this is actually something that. Uh, Apple does not know how to fix and doesn't really realize what the problem is. So everyone's giving different opinions about what it is. Uh, um, items on the forum, some of them work and some of them don't. And it's been going on for years now, and I don't see it getting any better. So I'm going to go through some of the uh, things that I've found will work. And I guess just keep trying these until one of these works. Okay. Um, one thing to do is if you go into your preferences... Uh, make sure that, well, your transition direction, duration, go ahead and check if this is set to like 10 seconds or something like that and your clip is only one second long or something, you're not going to have enough space in your clip to do that. But by default, it's one second, which should be fine. All right. So um, there's different ways of doing this. Let's go ahead and try to drag, drag a transition on here manually. Now, usually it will let you drag the transition on to the front of the clip with no problem if you do it manually. Okay, as you can see there. Uh, now, let's try and drag the transition to the end of the clip. You see, you can see here it won't actually let me drop it on there. So, and then you get the error message again. So, for whatever reason, dragging it to the front of the clip sometimes works and dragging it to the end uh, usually does not work. Uh, one way I found out is if you hover over, we select this and hover over it with the uh, T key pressed down, now you're in trim mode which is basically the slip or slide mode in, in, in editing programs. So now if you drag back and forth, you can see that you're changing the time of the clip, but not its position or length in the timeline. Now, with just a still clip like this, this is fine, because this clip is just a still image. It doesn't change. If this was a piece of video or animation, you would be changing the in and out points of that um, piece of animation. So uh, this probably this technique probably won't work for you so let's go ahead and just let go and now let's see if just changing the trim point is enough to let it drag it onto there nope won't, won't let it do it again so this one's being extra extra stupid okay so i'll hit a to bring back my selection tool uh, another thing that sometimes works is in command g which basically is to break apart a um, compound clip sometimes that'll break it apart and as we can see here, when we try to drag it on there, nothing. Sometimes it will give you, sometimes nothing actually happens. As you can see here, it looks like it puts something at the very end here. All it did was, instead of putting a transition, it just put a little black slug there. Let's delete that. Let's try and drag that onto there. Okay, so now, maybe that worked, the, um, the command G. All right. Now, okay, so we can see here that now it can fade out. Okay, so like I said, it depends on your situation. Sometimes these things, um, depending on the situation and depending on how bugged, bugged this thing is, uh, you can get to work in a variety of different ways. Uh, the last, last case scenario I found is just to do a manual kind of edit over top of it. So um, go ahead and select the clip. Let's say, for example, you tried all these techniques and they don't work. You cannot add the transition to the end of it. Uh, and you don't want to use the uh, the trim tool to slide the clip back and forth. Uh, go ahead and select the clip and hit Command-C to copy it. 
Now go ahead into your library, drag out a another copy of that clip, put it on top, and retime it, slide it in there, and retime it to the point where you want it to overlap. All right. Slide those side by side like that. All right. And um, but now you as you can see, the transform is not the same. And you could just kind of manually move it into place, but it's much easier just to go ahead and select the new clip in there and hit Command Shift V, which is paste attributes. Now you can paste the transform of that. And now as you can see here, as we scrub through, you can't see that it's two separate clips. It looks like one entirely normal clip. And if you go ahead and drag the transition on top of that, it actually will put a transition between those two guys. So now you've got your you've got your transition, okay? If this was like I said like a piece of video, you should probably get rid of that, trim that in the middle there. And now you've got or you could if the other thing you could do is you could go ahead and you can just get rid of both of those, drag a new one on to the stage. Since we've already uh, copied the um, the clip before that, we can just hit Command Shift V and paste the attributes from before. And now we can go ahead. Oops. You'll notice that, and this is one indicator that I, I've seen that shows whether you're going to have this problem or not. As you can see, this clip just is just the clip by itself, just that blue line to show you the the, the clip. Uh, these other ones have like a black. Uh, strip on top that shows that they are kind of connected to other things in the scene. So if it doesn't have that black strip at the top that you can see right there where my mouse is, is over, if it doesn't have that black strip on the top, chances are you can probably try a good transition with it. So let's see, with this new one put into the scene, just Command T, and as you can see, we were able to add the um, clip there with no problems. So Again, what's causing this, it can be sometimes it has to do not with the clip itself, because the clips are fine. It has to do with its relationship to other things in the scene. So sometimes as you're editing things, especially when you get like a complex animation like over here, we can see that, well, complex, there's just a lot of layers. As you can see here, there's a lot of layers coming in at different times. And as you add things, uh, transitions and, and transforms to them, they will they'll start to um, kind of connect to each other and, and that magnetic timeline which drives everybody nuts uh, will start to uh, cause this issue and it starts creating relationships between these uh, layers or these clips that cause this this kind of dependency and so what it does is it thinks that this clip is kind of attached or married to another clip in the scene and when you try to add the uh, transition to it, even if the old clip is gone, it thinks that it's still it it's still relating to the in and out points to that old media and stuff. I think that's what's going on. Um, if somebody out there knows some other way of doing this, uh, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and and put something in the comments. Uh, let us know what what you've done to overcome this stupid ass problem. But uh, otherwise. If nothing else, so you, if you tried everything else and nothing else has worked, uh, then try these these uh, techniques, and hopefully that will uh, get you out of the woods. Okay, see you later.